When we talk about capital structure, we're talking about how the company's non-current assets or long-term assets are funded. Is it funded by only equity or a mix of debt and equity? So that is what we mean capital structure, with capital structure. And it's important for two reasons. They could either ask you in a test to determine the capital structure, which I'll show you in an example just now, or it could be base knowledge for other topics. So it's important to understand what the capital structure means. If you hear the words capital structure, you need to know what it means. So the capital structure, in short, is basically the, the percentage of debt versus equity or the proportions of debt versus equity. So if you look at this pie chart, this might be our debt based on value and this might be our equity based on value. And overall, this is how the company's assets are financed. <clears throat> so when they ask you to calculate the debt equity or to calculate the capital structure or to determine the capital structure, they're basically asking you to calculate the debt equity ratio. So we'll look at ratio analysis in a separate topic, but for now you must be able to calculate the debt equity ratio. And I'll do that in a moment. Now why is the capital structure important? Why is this proportion of debt versus equity important? Well, it affects two important things. First, it affects the risk of the company. If the company has a lot of debt, so a high debt equity ratio, or a capital structure that is heavy on debt, then it will increase the financial risk of the company. Remember, the financial risk is the risk of not being able to repay the capital and the interest when it falls due. Because we have to pay that based on, the, or according to the agreement with the borrowers. If we have a lot of equity, we don't have to pay dividends to so the risk. There's no financial risk in equity. And then it affects the value of the company. Now, don't worry too much about how that will affect the value of the company. We'll do that separately in capital budgeting. But for now, you must just be aware. Remember, the main aim of the company, the, sh the financial manager's job, is to maximize shareholder value. And how do we increase the value of it? We earn more uh, returns, more returns, higher returns. And we spend less. We spend less on the costs. So if we can lower the overall cost of funding this business, we will increase the value. And then just quickly, for now, I know there's other forms of finance like preference shares that could be classified as either debt or equity. We can ignore that for now. Let's just simplify it and focus on debt and equity. So let's look at an example of a capital structure. So this company uh, is funded with 36,000 rands worth of equity and 24,000 rands worth of debt. So the overall capital of the company, the overall funds available is 60,000. And now we need to calculate the, or determine the capital structure. So we basically need to calculate the debt equity ratio. So debt equity ratio, it's just like the name says, debt divided by equity. So we can either take the 36,000 and divide it by the 40,000 and that will give us a percentage. Or sorry, we need to divide the debt by the equity. So we need to divide 24,000 by the 36,000 and that will give us 0.67 and we write it as debt to equity. So debt to equity. So the debt is 67% of equity or for every one rand worth of equity we've got 67 cents worth of debt so this is what you could have given as an answer or you could write it as a percentage of the total assets so we could say well equity is 36,000 divided by the total funds of 60,000 that'll give us 60 percent Equity is 24,000 divided by 60, that'll give us 40%. So then we can write the debt equity ratio as 40-60. So that means 40% of the total funds are debt, 60% of the total funds are equity. And then there's a last way we can write this. We can simply divide the debt by the equity and write the percentage. So we could say the debt equity is 67%. But I would rather stick to either for every one rand of equity, how much debt do we have? So something to one or 
like this where the 2 adds up to 100. So where we calculate the percentage of debt and the percentage of equity and then simply write it um, as a ratio. And that is probably the safest when they ask you to determine the capital structure. Very important from this lecture is to understand what it means when we talk about the capital structure. It is how are the long-term assets funded by uh, and what are the proportions of debt versus equity.